The final pillar is the pillar of wraparound strategies. So for many, many years, we began to become aware of mental health from a crisis management perspective. What would you do if someone developed a mental health crisis in the workplace? What's the appropriate response to a mental health crisis? But we're more and more aware that it's important to have wraparound end-to-end strategies. So we're also focused now on how do we create an environment in which mental health thrives and we are more resilient to mental health problems. So what are those um, preventative measures that you can put in place in your organisation? And then what are the post-crisis actions that we can be taking as an organisation? Are we reviewing post-crisis to see if there is something that we could be doing in our environment to preventing that in the future? And is there a process that's in place to ensure that people are able to integrate back into the work environment without feeling shame or embarrassment and still maintain productivity and feeling like part of the team. Unfortunately, and I'm sure all of the um, HR ladies on the, on the call could back me up on this one, once an individual is away from work for mental health issues for a period of three weeks, the statistics on their likelihood of returning to that workplace plummet. So up to three weeks, if we can get somebody back into the workplace up to three weeks uh, within that three-week period, there's a pretty good chance that they will remain with the organisation. After three weeks, the chances of them returning to effective roles within that, effective duties within that organisation begin to plummet. So are you responding in the prevention, early intervention crisis management and ongoing uh, management and return to work response? Do you have policies and procedures in place that acknowledge and recognise each of these stages and the different approaches that each stage requires? Okay. So there's a lot of information in those seven stages. Um, And as I said, some of them, you may need some kind of project, planning, approvals, policy changes. Others you can start doing immediately. What's one thing that you took away from those seven pillars? Not, not one thing from each of them, but just one overall thing that you think you can start to implement immediately within your teams. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week. So when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.